Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me Zane, back here with another video. So, as promised, I'm doing a setup tour video of my setup and what programs I use to edit, etc. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my setup and I wanted to know what things you're curious about so I can answer them. So the first question is, what mic do you use? So the mic that I currently use right now is the Blue Snowball Ice Microphone from Blue Microphones. I really do love this microphone a lot. It does what it's supposed to do. I know that a lot of YouTubers have it and that's not even the reason why I got it. I only observed that a lot of YouTubers had it after the fact. I would recommend this mic right away to anybody who's looking for a microphone. Very well priced, easy to use. You just plug it in, no drivers needed, just plug it in and the red light turns on and you can use it. I also love how it came with a little stand because my other problem with my other mic was I had the mic, but there was no stand for it. So this three-legged tripod is very good. That's the mic that I use if you guys were wondering. I'm also leaving a link in the description for each single product that I showcase in this video so that you guys could check them out too if you want. So I got a lot of comments asking me what program I use to edit. To answer that question, the program that I use to edit is Sony Vegas 13. It does cost money, but it's an amazing investment. This thing, I think I've used to edit my videos for about three years now. It's really simple to use once you've learned how to use it. I love using it. So yeah, Sony Vegas Pro 13. Next question asks me, what speakers do I use and what monitor do I use? So the speakers that I use are the Mackie CR Series CR3 3 inch creative reference multimedia monitor. So I recently got these. I wouldn't say so recent, but recent enough that it hasn't been a year. I love them. These are basically really, really big speakers. So these are used for professional mixers or people who do production work with audio production so if you don't know i am a music producer i make beats i make mashups i do stuff that involve music too oh and fyi my soundcloud is uh zane burko so you can go check that out too so anyways i need these because they can get loud when you want them to get loud i really haven't done much work on them when i'm busy blasting music in my room just because my parents room is right next to mine so I normally only blast it when they're out of the house, but when I am blasting it, these speakers are amazing. I love them. Great quality. You have your left and your right channel. It's really great, and I love them. So I got a couple comments or questions asking me about how I make my thumbnails and what program I use to make my thumbnails. So I'll be showing you guys how I make them and I'll show you what program I use. So the program that I use to edit my thumbnails is Photoshop CX6. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is import your photo, obviously, then grab the drag selection tool and basically highlight the most important part of your thumbnail. Now what you're going to want to do is I guess right click on the selected part and click on layer via copy. Once your layer has been copied, just drag that onto your new document, which is your thumbnail and right click on the layer and click blending options right at the top. Then you're gonna wanna click stroke, which gives it that white outline effect. And you're gonna wanna change the size to 10 and change the color to white. I'm also gonna be leaving a thumbnail template for people who have Photoshop just because I feel like giving back to you guys. Besides that, I don't think there's anything that I really need to elaborate on because it's really easy to use the template that I'm giving you that I created. So for noobs at Photoshop, if you want to edit the text, there's a little text tool at the bottom. It's basically a T. I'll show you that right now on my screen. So hope you guys enjoy that template and use it well.